Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for my very first Throwback Thursday video. I will explain what the Throwback Thursday video is all about, but I'm going to be digging into my crates for older products and bringing them back to you, okay? So today we'll feature a Pat McGrath Labs older uh, Mothership palette and an older Dior face palette, okay? I'll be discussing why they've been chosen, what I thought initially, and what I'm thinking now, and if I plan on keeping them or not, okay? So I'll be swatching too, and obviously pulling a look together. So if you wanna see how this face came together and what this super cute thing is on my head, just keep watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. Okay guys, before we jump into this uh, Throwback Thursday video, of course I have to talk about my Breezy 2 product of the day. I am rocking our Rust Orange Twist Stretch Headband that I absolutely love. The fabric is so soft. It's primarily viscose, which is essentially wood pulp. So very, very soft fabric, nice amount of stretch to accommodate different head sizes, different uh, hair sizes. So they come in lots of colors, and let me tell you how excited I am that now that my hair can be in a puff, I can finally wear our twist headbands how I want to. We started making these after I cut my hair, and so my hair's been growing, but I haven't fully loved them with my hair before. I like it with my hair up and wearing one, so I'm so excited. And if you wanna check out any of our twist stretch headbands yourself, you can visit us at breezyt.com or our Etsy shop. Links will be in the description below. All right, guys, so let's jump right in. So I talked about potentially doing a throwback Thursday type of video. So the videos would go up on a Thursday here on YouTube. And the idea is to dig back into my um, collection a few years and see what I have that, one, I didn't really love um, that much, uh, what products I didn't love that much, or something that I did really like, but I just haven't given it the attention that it deserves. And one of the brands I feel like it's happening, not just for me, is Pat McGrath Labs, who I absolutely adore. But I feel like, um, this is one of the products today, by the way, this is the Bronze Seduction Mothership Palette 5V. And um, I feel like a few years ago, there was such a frenzy, like when she first launched, there was such this, there was such a frenzy to just grab everything and this is before they went public and it became the billion dollar um business uh that it is now um and like you coveted these motherships you saved up for them you waited they came they went you missed your chance you waited for the next chance so i feel like there was there was a uh, such a buzz that you grabbed them and in that frenzy um i grabbed some products that I don't dislike, the quality is always there. I don't dislike the products at all, but I'm like, eh, I probably wouldn't get it today because I know I wouldn't use it so much, okay? And that's what we have with this palette um, today, okay? Here it is. Some of these things look like they haven't even been touched. I promise you I've probably used this like two or three times. It's sad, but it's true. And that is why this year I'm pretty sure I'm gonna open up a page actually really soon to start selling some of my makeup that is just, has gone untouched and it has nothing to, it, it, you know, it means nothing about the actual products themselves. Um, all the time it doesn't mean that. Sometimes it's just a matter of, just paring down. I have a lot of stuff and there are things that I gravitate towards more than others. And um, this one in the first video, which you can find on my page, the idea is not to duplicate what I did the first time. If you wanna see the full review of this palette, you can search my page for Pat McGrath Labs and this will come up. So I'm not even gonna touch this red shade because the first video I feel like was all about this red shade. And um, some of these look like genuinely like they're not, they've not even been been touched. Um, so anyway, so that is, I just wanted to lay out the groundwork of what Throwback Thursday will be. And it's not gonna be every week. It's going to be once in a while when I have pockets in my schedule to shoot a Throwback Thursday, I will. Um, and then we have this Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette in Copper Gold, okay? Uh, and this is one that, let's see if I'm convinced today. It's a sparkly number and yes, okay? So we'll see, we'll see how I feel about it in, in, today and how I work it on uh, my cheeks. 
Um, so that's what's going on. That's what Throwback Thursday is going to be about. And again, I think this is the great impetus to start a page to sell some of this stuff back that is truly barely, barely used. Um, and uh, if anybody's interested that's watching this, something that I'm showing in the video, if you're interested interested in it, you can let me know. In one of these Throwback Thursday videos, you can let me know and we'll see. Okay, so let's jump in to these eyes. And for this video, I'll save swatches to the end. Let's get to the eyes now, come up with a look, and I'll give you my opinion. Labs eyeshadow, so I'm always going to love them. And I always say this about Pat McGrath, like I feel more um, creative when I'm using her eyeshadows. Now, this is not even creative to most people, but for whatever reason, I never put dark shadows on my lid and kind of go reverse. I always smoke them out. I love how it looks though. So I'm going to just do more of this in the future because I don't know why I don't just typically, I really, really love it on other people. And I'm like, every time I see it, I'm like, why don't I do that? I don't know, my brain just, gets set on putting certain colors certain places. And I absolutely love it on the lid. So I, the only thing I changed was that green shimmer situation in the eye and the, the tear duct. I, I took that off. I didn't like how that went with the look. I used about four or five of the colors in here. One, two, three, this in the brow bone, this one underneath with this purple, these two, this one in the crease, this one, um, on the lid and then this one here, the rosy shimmer, just coming up the tear duct and then into the crease, okay? And I think it came out very pretty, very simple, but I'm reminded what the issue is. Like, listen, I like my quads, I like my quints, I like smaller things, I like fewer options typically, so I just don't often gravitate towards these. I do love my Mothership Rose Divine, I think it is, that those colors are so, me and every day, but I don't know how much use I'll get from this one, honestly. This one I think I'll, I'll be okay parting with, but it's beautiful nonetheless. And this is a completely different look to the first one I did. And I'm talking longer than I want to. And I wanted to say that, that the first, this video is a little longer because it's the first one and I wanna explain it, but going forward, the, the, my goal with this one is to have it only be <laughs> a certain length. So. That's that on that. Let's get to this face 
palette, okay? And as always, everything that I'm wearing on my face will be in the description below. So if you're ever wondering about what's on my face that I'm not talking about, you can find them in the description below with some affiliate links. So if you use one of my affiliate links, I appreciate it. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, so again, here is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette in 005 Copper Gold. Okay, here are the swatches. I actually have to swatch these now because I didn't remember how they swatch. Listen, they're beautiful and they look like they'd be great on the um, eyes. What I know about this palette and what I didn't love is the sparkle. It was super sparkly and I don't remember what happened in the first video. Maybe I went in too heavy, maybe I, I don't know, but I'm going to try, this will be a good opportunity to try out brushes to these videos. Um, I just got this in, in the last couple of weeks, I think. The um, Hakuholo G6052. So this is a brush that really does splay out. Okay, I'm going to use, because I'm curious how this darker one would look as a highlighter, right? I really am curious about the sparkle, guys. Let's go. I have nothing on my cheeks right now. I'll put color, if necessary, after. Okay, it's like a light, it's lightly going on. The brush is doing what I knew it would. Softly place the the highlighter uh, on my cheeks. I'm not mad at that. Like, I feel like I can go a little more. exact brush and let's try mm, let's try this one up here okay so we went this is the darker one over here but let's try this one up here on this side of the cheeks I am sort of over gold highlighters but here we are so I'm excited to try it out now with this brush number um I like how it looks on camera seeing it close up for me uh there are still too many sparkles it looks really nice if you're a decent um uh, amount away but I'm finding that this is adhering to to my skin in a way that I don't necessarily love but it does look very very pretty on camera that's the part that I love I can honestly say that but seeing it up close I'm like I just see more sparkle. I'm going to take this one here and I'm going to use an eye brush because it's it's kind of uh, it's uh, fluffy and I want to put this one down here because I really don't want a densely packed situation uh, here and I'm actually still dipping it off. Yeah. Okay, so here are the swatches for the Mothership palette. Okay, a lot of shimmer in there, a lot of, and um, yeah, I don't know. It's beautiful, it's beautiful, and it's just that I'm not gonna get much more use from this one. And also, I didn't want anybody thinking, I know that the lights exacerbate uh, color and stuff. I went and looked at the cheek in more natural light and all I see is sparkle. And I asked my husband, he's like, oh yeah, when the, when the light hits the heat, it's just, it's too much for me. So let's just end this with Pat McGrath lipstick, Flesh 3, I haven't bought a Pat McGrath lipstick in absolutely forever. Uh, so this is Flesh 3. 
Very nice. Feels nice going on. Very, very pretty. And I'm choosing products too that are still available. I don't really want to bring you things that you can't get if you like them. So that's my goal is to, uh, to do the things only that are still available. If something else slips in, okay. But anything else I can actually put up on my page to sell, right? When I open up a, a page. So this is the finished look. Okay, guys, so that has been my first throwback Thursday video, okay? Let me know if you have these products. Do you love them? And again, let me know about that Pat McGrath. Are you, did you like fall into the frenzy, buy a lot of stuff that you now find that you don't use? I'm curious about that. And let me know if you, these work for you, specifically or if you're over 40. I'm really curious about that because it just shows so much sparkle to me. And that just, not my thing. I'm curious what you think about these products. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it when you guys do. And if you want to check out any of our twist stretch headbands, any of our t-shirt hair towel wraps, scent line beanies, scent line knit beanies, boho head wraps, and so much more, just visit us at breezytea.com. For all our luxury lifestyle accessories, you can visit us at fraybybreezytea.com. I will check you guys in the next video. Ciao for now. Bye.